Welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 2. When we last left off, we found a gigantic fruit fucker and he was fucking the fuck out of some fruit. We have some depressed robots to destroy on our path here. Apparently it's still empty. There, we finally got to see it land. That robot is terrifying and not arousing. You're not turned on by that? Not even a little bit. That's, oh, this stand does not sell actual peanuts, but rather Renut brand reconstituted legume pellets. Well, that sounds awful. There are lots of uh, little fruit fuckers hanging out around here. Let's try to take them on. More robot parts, more dynamite, more overkill. Gabriel still needs one, Taiko still needs an upgrade. But we still have much more to explore around here. <laughs> did you see that robot? Indeed I did. That's a big crush. Yes, I would like to continue. I would like to not die right there. I, I didn't realize I got too close. We can't even beat this thing's feet? No, apparently we can't. Seriously, it's fucking feet? That whole ordeal was extremely shameful. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's head over to the left where I can find more of these guys. You know, something a little bit more my style. We do get more robot parts out of that. Apparently they are very weak to Dr. Blood. They went down in one shot. All right, let's head over here. Smash that. I'm out of room for Suvex Ultra, which I guess is a good thing. And I have no room for that either. Where's the head? I don't see where it landed. But, uh, before we actually try to do anything, I want to go back and check. Not that, but I want to check the robot parts. Did I get all of them? There are still a couple more to get. I don't necessarily see where those would be. Seems like there's maybe... Is he caught there? He is caught back there. I don't necessarily see where the robots are hiding. That's not a good thing. There we go. Unlock concept art number 12. I don't think I have all of them yet, but uh, I should have a good number. Now let's see what we can do about uh, bringing him back a little bit here. So, uh, what the plan is is to head over here. This repairment was here before, actually. Well, that's just weird. Uh, we will head back here, then... Uh, I don't know where the robots are. It's possible this emergency generator must have been hauled in to manage some urgent crisis. Shortly after they did so, they must have run for their lives. A thick trunk of electrical cable lies near the generator. Electrical cable? Sure, that'll work. With help from the man beast, Gabriel, you make firm connection. Yes, everything is now going to plan. We have turned on something. Let's head back and see if the button works now. That's my plan. Ooh, there's also a trash can over here. Everything must be broken so that I can not get anything. Album number four, the 8-bit precipice of darkness. It does sound good. Looks like that is it for the time being, no? Uh, we'll, we'll not destroy things for the time being. We have destroyed enough. All right, dirigibles. Oh, look how much everything has turned on. Measure twice, hit once. No, more, more enemies. I was able to get that last overkill for Gabe, though. Now we have made it back to the ameliorator, which is what I wanted to look at first. We will deal with the lever of the future in a bit. Uh, the ameliorator's gaping hopper yawns wide, hungry for steel. I do have enough for Tycho. Let's do it. Let's load everything in. Along with the shotgun itself, pound after pound of twisted shrapnel is dropped in. Roiling like some modern-day cauldron, the omnibus enters. 
can find the ingredient. The machine turns on like some exhausted locomotive. Blue light forces its way from every scene. The door ooches open to reveal the burning shot eldritch firearm with optional grimoire mount. I can, I can read and kill, or I can read two books at once. This is the happiest day of my life. That's it. Every weapon topped out. We should have everything we need now. High five. Gabriel whimpers. And we have completed what a girl needs. So that case is now closed. There is still a little bit for me to do in terms of getting robot parts, but uh, in terms of the case, you know, we're, we're moving along. Find a way inside the giant orange. Do I want to get inside the giant orange? Outside of that, looks like we are mostly done here. We do have to find a new place to live. We have to find a way inside the giant orange. And that's it. That is it. We're moving well along here. I should look at the dossier, though, uh, since we have upgraded a few things. No real need to look at that. Just, you know, little pictures of our new weapons. Oh, that does look good. Does look good. Ooh, double shot. Yeah, basic attack. All right, so NPCs. We have jo Dr. Jonathan Kraswar, which we've seen. Pearl, we've seen Swindell. We've seen Dr. Julian Bromide. We've seen Colonel Frank Candid. Riverbrook Park Estates can kill with a walnut shell. Forthright, decisive, and occasionally brutal. Men like this are built the modern world apparently dr blood we met him at the symposium on the future of man and he's a mysterious benefactor his piercing gaze and timely appearance in the narrative mark him as a man to watch that's one way to put it dr coriander stripe symposium on the future of man a scientist that's discovered love on the eve of his nuptials dr stripe is understandably nervous uh, dr Arnold p wimple symposium on the future of man is where we met him he loves p Dr. Arnold P. Wimple is the world's foremost urinologist. He is also the world's only urinologist. Still, it's something. Dr. Lars Krangel, I believe we have... We have not seen. Dr. Lars Krangel, Symposium on the Future of Man, and Claire's diminutive... Diminutive idol. Yeah, they spelled that right. I was saying it wrong. Author of My Tin Ear, The Soul of a Roboid, and innumerable others, Dr. Krangle is as famous as a scientist could be. Featured in Ars Mechanica and the teen science rag Whirligig, his genius has inspired a generation. Uno, Twee, and Dr. Dre. We have already met Dr. Quatremain as well, the waiter we knew, the gate attendant. At the World's Fair, maybe not the best day ever. He was the last in a long line of ticket takers. There is a lesson here for all of us. And then finally, we do have Dr. Mordo von Mundo. Location unknown. Oh, he's the 1872 Spelling Bee champion. Good for him. Cast out from the world of polite science, Dr. Mordo von Mundo nursed his wounds until the profane Necroomicon called out to him, whispering in terrible occult schematics. We do have new support characters. We have Anne Claire. We had Div. He's a drunken phonograph. Yeah, get out of his way. Dr. Blood, the mysterious benefactor. He has a talonite bomb, a gizmo of his own design. This clockwork contraption harnesses unstable talonite to devastating effect. His piercing gaze and timely appearance and narrative mark him as a man to watch. Then Mr. Tails. He's a simian. Symposium is where we used him quite a bit. He uses steel devil. Somewhere along the way, this devilish device acquired a taste for skulls. A viscous liquid hate bubbles deep in his metal belly. Someone was quite cruel to this creature while it was still a prototype. And then finally, we have new enemies. We have uh, Fruit Fucker Mark Threes. Uh, the gears within it whir and ping with each tiny thrust. Uh, we have Thins and Stouts and Tyrants, all of which we took on before. We have Hat Spiders. This curious breed of arachnid is deeply concerned with its accessories. It does have a little skull hat 
I did not notice that before, to be honest with you. Uh, then we had Dr. Wolfington. Dr. Lord Chandler Wolfington is a brutal hulk of a man who dines on human misery. His history with the Brahe clan is long. He only has strengths. No weaknesses. Annoying men, annoying women, wealthy matrons, wealthy matriarch. Impossibly ancient, these desiccated husks have long since passed into unlife. Uh, dappers, their deadly technique showed the same polish and flair as their ensemble. You have Gadabout, an improperly performed manicure, received more than ten years ago, has left these men savage and bestial. Or bestial. We have Charles Dubois. If you'd like to find Charles Dubois, just look for the ransacked tombs and weeping heiresses. Yeah, <laughs> weaknesses. He has no defense. Then we have Jack Furness, Dr. Mordo Von Mundo's right-hand man. And when we say man, we understand that we mean murder machine. Then the fruit fucker Mark Fours. This steam-belching automaton is the last word in modern juicing technology. Weak versus dynamite and talonite. Uh, then we have the evil architects. These dark draftsmen create the tasteful prisons of modern life. We have the enforcers. These men ensure that families are having the most fun ever with violence if necessary. And foot modules. These nearly indestructible pods are crammed with all manner of devastating weaponry. That they are. I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to beat them. Yeah, they have an unblockable attack. And they have a huge high attack stat. So still three more enemies to find somewhere along the way. But uh, we have done some good work so far. Can I go all the way to the uh, button? There was a button. I'm much more of a fan of buttons than I am levers. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a way to go further. Uh, the button of tomorrow still does not work. Apparently, I need to make it tomorrow. That's what the lever did, apparently. Confident in the outcome, you smirk. Your hand hovers over the button, savoring the moment. You press it. Nothing happens. And I was kind of hoping for more. I, fuck yes. I was about to say, I love these bikes. Those things are awesome. All right. So it is time to uh, turn the lever of the future from today to the world of tomorrow. With the power restored, this lever can once again fulfill its destiny. The drawbridge overhead lowers with precision. All systems would appear to be go. And now we can go back and press the button. That seems to be what we are aiming to do. I'm still a little upset. Where are the... Uh-oh. We got more enemies to take on first. Measure twice, hit once. I hit you as often as I want, damn it. A couple overkills for Tycho. And now we are ready to press the button. Rush into the console, you pound the button with a closed fist. Suddenly, shit starts to get real. Too late to pretend I didn't press the button. So, we have seemingly done something. Let's head back over and see what it is. Well, isn't this fucking futuristic? Is the name of this place. So, we have all the upgrades. We have most of the robot parts. We have... Oh, we missed a couple people here. Uh, we have taken on enforcers before, uh, but you know we're still low on a couple things that I know of. The collectibles is what I'm concerned about. I'm still missing three of them. I'm probably not going to be able to find them this run. I'll probably do another run uh, on hard mode or insane mode, whichever one they let me do, and then uh, I'll show you guys all of those. It looks like I missed three, unfortunately. Where are the albums? The album's not listed here. Huh. Oh, that's right. They're listed 
here with music, aren't they? Uh, looks like I am missing a couple of those as well. All right, let's move forward. He's got a new bold design for my face. And we have now maxed out the overkills for everybody. Didn't get any items, but that's okay. We will just keep moving forward. And hey, looks like I found the last of the robot parts here. And we got 120 more parts. And I do believe that does give me all of them. It does all of the robot parts have now been found i'm a little concerned about it though because seemingly i don't need all of the robot parts what's left of my house i'm pretty close to done with that uh i i don't know what else to do with the robot parts i'm gonna assume that the rest are bonus To the apex of the orange, make haste! Indeed we will. I wonder where they want me to go. I think it's over here. That thing sounds dangerous. Lots of electricity coming out of that thing. All right, we'll, we'll just run past it. Get some more things that I can't hold on to. I'm pretty full on damn near everything, but We'll head in here to the produce of tomorrow. Are you an enemy or are you going to talk? Nope. Time to remodel your face. That that usually means enemy. No, I can't do anything with the produce of tomorrow. They're ginormous and humongous and apparently delicious. I don't I don't necessarily trust them on the delicious part. Is that a thing? That is not a thing. That is just rubble. All right, let's take on all four of you guys. Better see some fucking tickets here. Natural 20. Nothing all that interesting that time, but we are ready to move on and see where we can go inside the giant orange. I'm a little nervous. Just a little bit. I think we've made it to the end. Holy fucking shit. No. Very disturbing. It's trying to fuck us. We have to run. We have to go up the spiral staircase. Sm smack the thing, it's on my path. I know I'm probably full on whatever it's gonna give me, but I'm gonna take a, a shot at it anyway. We're too high now. We're out of the juicing region. There's gotta be a service entrance at the top of this thing. Why would you need to service a big metal orange? I mean, what goes wrong with them? Seems like if it's big and round and orange, it's pretty much doing its job. Things have service entrances. They just do. It's not up for debate. Just then, a great clang is heard. A sound like demons in the metal, demanding their release. And if it's at the top, wouldn't it be like a service exit? I mean, nobody's gonna come in from the top. Maybe they do. You don't know? Shut up! This is your fault somehow! Oh, fuck. And... Oh no. We're up against the juicer. This is all really disturbing. My thoughts exactly. Man, I gotta get me one of those. Alright, we are ready for boss time. Let's go for let's go for some of our specials here. Citric acid incoming! I timed it right! Good to know! Go you steel devil! Uh, let's see how good it feels. Oh, just the tip. No. At least the name lets me know what's coming sometimes. I did so select the right one, didn't I? I believe I did. It was a little slow, slower than I'm, what, what I'm used to. Took the second one. Yeah, we're just not doing all that much damage here. No cost breaker. Oh, and it's going faster. This is not good. Oh, but Tycho, he does so much damage. 
All right, uh, after that, let's get Div out here. Uh, because one of my favorite things about the uh, support characters is that our gauges continue to rise while they're doing their move. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be that much. But at least we did something. At least we did something there. Faster, fly my pretties! It's a little early on that block, but I'm getting it. He blocked it again! I hear Dr. Blood ready to go. For the time being, we're just gonna do what we can with that. We're doing a good amount of damage! Oh, defense is down. That is, that is not good. All right. Uh, maybe you're weak to team ups. Probably not. Probably not. No, he is not. Faster, faster, faster. And then we'll get him going. Okay. We had a minor setback as I missed one of the blocks, but uh, we should still be good here. Maybe. Talonite bomb coming in. Now the regular robots are weak to it. He's probably not. Though. Very nice. Regular attacks like particularly effective here. Oh, he ran off. He ran off. Hey, we got a couple things that I didn't have already. I swear I was maxed out on White Christmases already. Whatever. Oh, snap. They're telling me to save here. We're saving. 